Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the St. Michael Spiritual Hour, where we believe in a positive spiritual attitude for positive spiritual attainment. This show is sponsored by St. Michael Spiritual Church, P.O. Box 578, Crete, Illinois, 60417. Go to drmichaelochapman.com for more information or call us at 708-752-0895. 708-752-0895. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Vimeo. Uh, and uh, and Twitter, Facebook, Vimeo, and YouTube. God bless you, God keep you and strengthen you this morning. Good morning, Crystal Chapman. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. Safe travels with you. Uh, got my help on today, so we're gonna have a good time on today. Uh, we're gonna talk about obeying the Spirit and obeying God. And unless you want to read this one, you read. This book is it's all get it all set it up for you. Or you want to read that one, doesn't matter. All right. So I have my help with me on today, Brother Uriel. Um we believe that the glass is half full, not half empty. So God bless and God keep it the purpose of this program to lift people up. As we lift up the name of Jesus, we want to share positive energy and stories with you to help you think, meditate, and spiritually make it. Let's go. This is it. Thank you for joining me on today. Wherever you are in the world, we send nothing but love to you on today. It's been one of those days, but God is awesome. He's awesome. He's good all of the time. He's good all of the time. So, I appreciate you spending this time with me wherever you are or whatever day it is, whatever time it is. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. Again, is my prayer for you. On today, I need you to exercise at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes every day. Let's get out there, walk, walk around, do something great for yourself. Walk around big box uh, stores, Do uh, uh, go to the park, walk around the block. Go to the mailbox, get out and get up and let's go. You gotta stay active because we don't, we, we're talking about prevention, uh, prevention for the uh, hypertension, heart attacks, um, cardi uh, cardio re uh, resuscitation, pulmonary resuscitation, all of those things we're gonna eliminate. We want you to be better. Get those bodies moving, get the uh, legs uh, flowing, get the muscles going, get the blood flowing throughout your body and oxygen. So we bless you on today. We want you to do that. We encourage you to do that. I'm not asking you to do anything that I'm not doing, okay? But I need you to do that and be one with us on today. So drink plenty of water. Cut back on the salt. Cut back on the salt. I think the worst thing, I'm not calling out any names. I'm not calling out any names. But the worst thing I've seen was somebody put salt on Popeye's chicken. I'm not down at <laughs> Popeye's, but that was the worst thing I ever seen in my life. It was so bad. That I screamed, stop it! I mean, I ain't going to tell you we're in the restaurant or we're at home. I ain't going to tell you where we, was, where we were. But I said, stop it! And I almost snatched it. I'm not a violent person. I almost slapped the uh, the salt shaker out of the person's hand. I was like, stop that! I had never seen that before. Because you know what hot sauce is? Uh, a lot of sodium in that. But um, I'm encouraging you to cut back. Good morning to you and your family traveling to you tonight. Yes, uh, Dion, Minister Dion uh, Walton. I call you Minister Walton anyway, because uh, you're doing the work of the, of the master. Amen. So come this way. We're going to try to we're going to try to get there. We are. We are. We got a lot of stuff going on. We always got a lot of stuff going on, but we're going to try to get there and, and praise God with you uh, one day, one out of the days, but it's a fantastic um, program that you participate participating in with your pastor, uh, and it's in the South Suburbs. I think it's in Harvey. Uh, so uh, God bless and God keep you. If you want to put the uh, address up, you can do that. You can you can, also, you can do that, uh, Minister Diane. You can put the address on there. But it's, I think it's the South, uh, the, uh, 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 the program is for two or three days. Uh, commencing uh, and ending on Saturday, commencing tomorrow. What's today? Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. And they're going to have a fantastic time. So there's room at the cross for everybody. If you need some help, there's no excuse. Uh, buckle up. You want to meet some Christian people. You want to be some people that believe in God. You got to surround yourself with like-minded people. You do. 
surround yourself with like-minded people. So we're excited about that. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you. Uh, we'll do. Okay, yes. Blessing God keep and strengthen you again is our prayer for you. Safe travels for everybody. And may you have success in that program that's happening this week. Amen. Bringing ministers and, and encouraging people to uh, come to the come to come to God, come to the Master. So God bless and God keep all the way down from Kentucky. Wow, if you could do that, all right. People go uh, where they need to go to see the Master. We're going to talk a little bit about that too. When God tells you to do something, uh, you need to get up and go ahead and do it. Obey the Holy Spirit. How many people, you know, I want to see hands. How many people uh, would obey the Spirit or just say, forget it, I'm not doing it, I'm not going to obey anything. All right, it just uh, if you obey the Spirit, you feel like you should, just give me a heart or something and just let me know that you, um, you do do that. And sometimes it's hard to do that because you want to do, you know, your, your uh, physical brain and your physical mind is saying, don't do that, you don't have time for that, don't do that, don't go that way. But the Spirit says, hey, this is what I want you to do. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to go on Acts and talk about Paul and Barnabas, but we're going to go a little bit about that just a little later on. But first, again, we believe the glass is half full. It is not half empty. Exercise, drink water, eat right. Salads, uh, cut back on the greasy foods, cut back on the uh, uh, meat, uh, red meat and all of that. Uh, so you can live better, live longer, live longer. And that's what we want, a high quality of life for you on today. So I'm giving you that on today. Uh, you can live better. You can cut back on some things that you shouldn't be doing. And, and this is a good time to do it. We're in the Lent season. This is a good time to do it. I think we're in the third week. We're in the third week or fourth. Fourth. The fourth week. We headed that way. We hanging in there. We're doing that. We're doing that. Giving up things that are not right for us. Mastering. The things that come to master us. If you can't pass a, if you can't pass a, a, a cookie jar. I'm talking about my, my son. Now. If you can't pass a cookie jar without getting the cookie out of it, you need to kind of master that. If you same thing with with weed. If you can't uh, uh, get a, a a whiff of weed without having a heart attack and need some weed, then there's a problem. F food is the same way. You're not hungry. You just want it. That's that's you're not mastering. You got to master that. You got to master that. Oh, just so I need it. Or oh, a drink. Or oh, pass a barn. You can't. You just have to have a drink. No, you don't. Or oh, you got to have that cup of coffee in the morning. I'm talking about myself now. You got to learn how to master that, Reverend. What's that? Williams, brother Williams, <laughs> brother Williams. You got to master that thing. All right, that uh, caffeine is calling you every morning. <coughs> So I need you to master that. So these two forty days, you know, master those things that are calling us. We're gonna stay on top of it because we want the spirit to to be one with us and we want one with the spirit. Speaking of being one with the I am, we're gonna do that um, in just a minute. But I'm going to, I, 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 before we go to that, I think we need to pray. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna pray on today um, the things that come up against us in our minds and in our bodies and in our surroundings, not going to allow that them to be um, uh, uh, in charge of what we do on today. All right, Father, we come to say thank you. I ask the great unseen healing force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty, and I will do my part. I ask this great unseen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in the need of help and to restore them to perfect health. I put my trust in the love and power of God. Father, we come to say thank you. We touch and agree that we'll have success in everything that we do for you on this week and in this season that we come out victorious. You've already shown us that you are in control and, you, and there's nothing that we cannot do or we cannot have in your name because we're one with you. So we trust that on today. We, but we're praying for other people along with ourselves that you cover our children, our grandchildren, our young people, our young men, our young women, that they may have long uh, uh, prosperous lives in you right now, Father. They find the Lord. They find you and that their minds be changed in a hurry. That's our prayer, that they move from from negativity to positivity. 
is our prayer from death to life right now, Father. Putting the guns away, putting things the way that they hurt them and other people right now, destroying their lives and their families' lives right now, Father. Keep them lifted up is our prayer. Let them find new avenues to serve you. Mm. And they find their purpose is our prayer. Keep them. Those that are thinking about us taking their lives right now, Father, we say no, 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 no. And we ask that they live in the name of Jesus right now. Keep them covered is our prayer. Head to toe. Bless the elderly right now, Father. Keep them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless and God keep in strength to you. If you want to be on our prayer list, 708-752-0895, Minister Crystal Chapman. Um, will, my lovely wife, we will uh, put you on our prayer list and we're going to pray for you. We're going to do what the Lord tells us to do. We're going to talk about that in just one minute. Before we go to any further, we're going to the I am. I am great. I am beautiful. I am uh, handsome, I am courageous, and this is not material. Then, how are you going to connect God with the material things? We're connecting God with where we live and how we live. And you can't be oxymoron, you can't be uh, loving God and saying positive things and doing negative things. So, what we want you to do uh, is connect with the positivity, the source of all things, the great things source of all things. So I want you to do that, okay? I am great. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am courageous. I am a miracle. I am a believer. Talk is cheap, but when things come down, you got to say that I'm a believer. I am sane. I am intelligent. I am handsome. I am awesome. I am energy. I am. I'm spirit. I am fearless. I am productive. I am ready. I am confident. I am powerful. I am strong. Talk to yourself. Tell yourself you are handsome, you're wonderful, you, you're intelligent, you can read. Talk to yourself. My life is God. I am successful. I am honest. I am loving. I am sympathetic. I am prayerful. I'm empathetic. All those things. You get nothing but a champion. I am nothing but a champion for the master. My life is God. God is my life. I am grateful. I am that I am. I am, therefore, I think. We start connecting that with the master. And something swells up on the inside of you. It's the Holy Ghost and says, okay, you can accomplish all the things that you want to. And why would God not hold things back for you? All right. God bless and God keep in to you again. <coughs> it's my prayer. Right now, it's prayer list. Be on our prayer list. Be on our prayer list. Prayer list. Prayer list. Those had birthdays, Michelle. Dawkins, your birthday is coming up. Talking family down in, 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 in Phoenix. Blessing God, keep you. Strength to Eugene Dawkins. You just had a birthday. Blessing God, keep you. Happy birthday for you. Uh, Pastor Baker, Circle of Praise. God bless and God, keep you. God Can Ministries in Cairo. Carol, not Carol. Carol, Illinois. Pastor Zach Green and Prophet Mother Green and First Lady Lisa Green. God bless and God, keep you. You had a fantastic trip. I hope you're still high from your trip. El Shaddai Miracle Temple, Pastor Daisy Martinez. God bless and God keep you. Got a birthday coming up. It will be Sunday, uh, 3.30 at El Shaddai Miracle Temple. 3.30, uh, 3.30, I think that's right. 3.30 uh, in Chicago, El Shaddai Miracle Temple in Chicago. Pastor Daisy uh, Williams Martinez, Betty Cook in Virginia. Uh, Brother Williams in Alabama. I hope to see you, Brother Williams, for this birthday. I am calling you. I am calling you out. Norman family uh, all over the world. Boy, you got people in Dallas. You got people uh, in New Jersey. You got people uh, in Mississippi. You got people in Ohio all over. Bless uh, Dan Norman and his con continuing family. Bless the Normans and the Hardaways in uh the Twin Cities are the Twin Cities. You know what I'm talking about? Des Moines, all of, all those east uh, of Illinois right there. Bless them, God. Keep them. Is I pray to Robinson. Bless them <coughs> as well. Boy, you know I got stuff to do. Um, the Macklin family, Queen, uh, Billy Brooks, Austin. You're my prayer list. See you, Sims, all the way in Kansas City. I'll let your light shine is my prayer. For you, uh, 
I think that's it. Mother Neil, God bless and God keep you. Uh, safe travels, Dion. We said that. Um, and I got my paper. Reverend Gray, bless and God keep you and strengthen you. I can feel my wife saying, don't forget about Reverend Gray. I'm not forgetting about Reverend Gray. Uh, Reverend L. L. Smith II, God bless and God keep you. And uh, Donna Reed, Minister Reed, bless and God keep you and strengthen you. It's my prayer. All of my people down in uh, um, Kankakee area, yeah, Alonzo Steve is very supportive. Um, and uh, Minister Tony, bless and God keep you and strengthen you as well. And the uh, mayor, uh, Pete. Uh, can you keep blessing God keep you and strengthen you? Leon and Mabel haven't heard from you in a while. Blessing God keep that entire family in the south side of uh, Chicago, down the south suburbs. Blessing God keep you, Naomi. Blessing God keep that. I know I'll see you soon. Uh, Reverend Riley, blessing God keep you in that, in that church, uh, Center of Hope Ministries, East and West. Yeah, I went Holy Temple Cathedral, 159 and 12 Lincoln Avenue, Harvey, Illinois, the Summit Ministry Workers. Conference Light of the World. Text me for more information, Dion uh, Walton. If you like to be around the Saints, that will be this weekend. Thank you for making that uh, announcement. Thank you for uh, texting that, uh, Mr. Dion Walton. So you want to be around the. That's just a good feeling to be around the Holy Spirit uh, and be around like-minded people. So this could be your weekend for your breakthrough. This could be it. So come out, or right, I'm going to leave this on so you can go back and look at it. 15912 South Lincoln Avenue. That's in Harvey, all right? Holy Temple Cathedral, all right? And that is going on for three or four days, all right? So text her, uh, her at this number. Thank you. All the way now, all the way from Kentucky. <coughs> <coughs> Just for you, okay? Bless you real good. All right, so... um. Again, if you'd like to be on our prayer list, Mr. Rudy, we heard from Miss Rudy, we heard from you. God bless and God keep and strengthen you. Uh, my my uh, pals, uh, Archie and Chester, uh, bless and God keep you. Uh, and my friend up in uh, Wisconsin, Gerald, we lift you up on today as well. And Ralph Evans, I haven't heard from you in a while, but I send you a lot of love on today as well. So if and my Audubon, all my Audubon people, God bless and God keep you. I continue to pray for you that everybody be successful and everybody have long life. That's my prayer. And Harrelson family, bless and God keep you in your event uh, that you just had. Bless and God keep you. All my Mississippi people, all my uh, Phoenix people, uh, and again, all my Iowa, I think Iowa, and Eastern Illinois, and Western Illinois people. Blessing God keep you. All right. Strengthen you is my prayer. 708-752-0895. Reverend Norris, blessing God keep you and strengthen you as well. Uh, Aries Porter and family, thank you for your support uh, on today. All right, Shelly Hay throwing in your sister. Aisha Green, blessing God keep you and strengthen you is, is my prayer. I'm waiting for that book to come out. Speaking of books, did I did that make a segue? You know what a segue is, right? How you kind of ease that in? Speaking of books, I have a new book that just came out. It's coming out. I need you to kind of purchase it. I need you to see about it. It's called, uh, let me see if I can get it. You know, I got stuff all over. My wife has stuff all over the place. Here you go. <laughs> I know it's going to look backwards to you, but it's about uh, Doug Collins. It's called Leadership in a New Season of Doug Collins' Story. Uh, it's about leadership. What managers do, they come into a new job, new situation. Good morning, Lucretia L. Smith. Uh, uh, blessing God keep you. Uh, it's about, it's, it's, this is a good book for managers, leaders of any kind of pastors that come up to a new church. What should I do? It's all outlined in this book, Leadership in a New Season, The Doug Collins Story. And you can get it on lulu.com, l-u-l-u.com. Uh, it should be out in the... Uh, general public real, real soon on Amazon and Walmart in, 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 a, in a month, but this is hot off the press, hot off the press just for you, good reading. If you're coaching, uh, then what did I do as a new coach? It's right here, right here, everything that you need. A leadership in a new season, the Doug Collins story. Okay, 
So, let's get to our scripture on today. Oh, is this scripture time? I think it is. <coughs> and um, I have Uriel reading for me today. Uh, Ar uh, Archie. Uh, Gabriel, he, he couldn't make it today. Bless his heart. He had volleyball practice. He's a little, a little strained. Uh, but uh, we bless all the teams in the creek and, and bless them real, real good. So I'm on 13th chapter of Acts. 13th chapter of Acts, and I'll wait till you pull that up real quick so you can read with me uh, and uh, so we can stay one together. And it's about obeying the Spirit. Sometimes, you know, um, we, we want uh, guidance. Deep down inside we do, but when it comes up, we don't always follow it. And then this is one case I want you to, to uh, uh, be like the uh, prophets and the men of, that worship God. And when God told them to do, when the Holy Spirit tells you to do something, don't be, um, what do I want to say, hard-headed, stubborn? Uh, no, move and do what the Spirit tells you to do, because there's a reason for that. And, and when you read this chapter, uh, uh, decide who you are in this. Are you the person that moves forward? Are you the false prophet? Are you the one who keeps people from being where they need to be? Or are you one that encourages them to get where they need to be? And don't worry uh, about retaliation. No, don't worry about retaliation. God has a God has a way of taking care of your business if you do his. Amen. 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 So <coughs> follow the spirit. Awesome. Bring me a copy to purchase. I will do that. Uh uh I will do that, Minister Walton. I will do that for you. I will do that just for you. I will send out a sign it just for you. Okay. Can you uh read Archie of oh, Archie? Keep calling you Archie. Yuri, would you read that, please? 13? Yeah, can you read that loud, then? First one. Yeah. Acts 13. In the church at Antipatage, mm -hmm. there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, called Niger. Mm -hmm. Niger, go ahead. Niger. Lucius and Siren. Memon, who had brought up from Herod. Yeah. The Tatrich? Yeah. And Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me, Barnabas, and Saul, for me to work with which I have called them. Yeah. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and set off. Okay, so the Holy Spirit comes and says, Okay, I need you to bring them, bring these two, set them apart. I don't know if you've ever been set apart, but that's that's something that you hear. Well, it depends on what church you go to. It depends on what arena you're in. But you may hear that they're set apart. Uh, they're separated from the other two. They move something about them that we need to set them apart. Or they just look like they don't belong with everybody else. Or there's a calling on these two. Or there's a calling on this one. And they may have that they're set apart for these two, Barnabas and Saul. They were set apart because the Holy Spirit said, now, set them apart, y'all. And they were, look, they weren't just up there playing around. They are in there praying and fasting. And the Holy Spirit comes. Now, if you want some guidance, if you want the Holy Spirit to intervene, it's a good thing to start praying and fasting. You got to pray all day. You got to fast all day. But do what the Spirit tells you to do. There's that feeling on the inside. I need to kind of fast for a while. What? I need to fast for the first part of the morning. I need to fast for a day. I need to fast for three days because I really want the anointing. I want the Holy Ghost to talk to me. We're going to have a good time because I'm fasting. Nothing material is in my way. So they were in there fasting and praying and the Holy Spirit came and I said, set these two apart because I have something for them to do. And they did just that. But before they do, did they touch hands? Did they lay hands on? Read, continue to read then. On Cyprus, the two of them set on the way by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, mm -hmm. and sailed from there to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. 
John was with them as their helper. All right, so John came along. Now, John represents love. Okay, so you got the two people. You got Barnabas and Saul, mm -hmm. sometimes called Paul. All right, and, and then they came. They're in the synagogues preaching about God. All right, the next thing, you know, a John came along too. I, was, I mean, so what do you need uh, with John? John represents love. Wherever you go, take some love with you. Take some love with you. All right, and John was appointed, so he said they didn't go by themselves. They were preaching stuff, but in that, they uh, they had love with them. John accompanied them. Go ahead. They traveled through the whole island until they came to Paphos. Mm -hmm. There they met a Jewish sorcerer, a false prophet named Bar Jesus. Yeah, his name was Bar Jesus. So he was a, uh, that's funny, his name is, it's not funny, but it's interesting, his name was Bar Jesus. And he was a false prophet. He was a sorcerer. All right, he had the sorcerers. They can do some things, but they can't do everything. And the thing with the sorcerers, they the stuff that they do has no authority or power. They can do some things, but not everything. And they have no authority because it's not coming from the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. Who was an attendant of the proconsul, Sergius Paulus. Mm-hmm. The proconsul, an intelligent man, sent from Barnabas and Saul because he wanted to hear the word of God. All right, so he had his people. He had his man with him. He had his sorcerer. All right, and he said, wait a minute. You know, the sorcerer's okay, but I need to hear a word of God. How many of you have you been, how many times have you been in situations where they send for the man or the woman of God, even though they have people in their surroundings who they could ask for uh, counsel. But no, he sent for Paul and Barnabas, all right? They were on a mission. They were on a mission. Remember, God, the Holy Ghost said, I need you to go here. So he, they were waiting. He was waiting on these two, even though he had the sorcerer uh, in his midst. Go ahead. But Elymas, mm -hmm. the sorcerer, for that is that is what his name means, opposed them and tried to turn the pro the pro council from the from the faith. All right, so there's a battle going on now. I don't know if you ever been in these situations before. All right, so they say, well, who are you? Uh, don't believe them. He, the, the the sorcerer is saying, sir, don't believe these two. They're coming from someplace else. And they may call you names. They may say you're a liar. They may come on to Tr uh, Trisha. They may say you you don't you're not right. I don't believe you. But they're turning you away from your faith in what you believe in, and, and that's his job. He said, "No, you. This is selfish. This is selfish. One uh 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 road, one life behavior, selfishness. No, don't listen to them. Don't listen to those two." Mm -mm. They're not telling you the truth. Matter of fact, then they build up a case about them. That why would you listen to them? They're not from God. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, oh, good morning, Mom. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Angie. Bless the God keeping and strengthen you. It's my prayer for you too. All right, so they so they saying, okay, don't believe them. Don't believe those two. This is my territory. <coughs> I know what's best for you. Go ahead. Then Saul, who was called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Elymas and said, You are a child of the devil and an empty of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perverting the ways, the right ways of the Lord? Now the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to, blind, you are going to be blind and for a time you will be unable to see the light of the sun. Okay, so he was filled with the Holy Ghost. So he just didn't haphazardly start cursing them out and going all crazy like some people may have done or went in the back of the church and started whining and crying. He filled with the Holy Ghost, looked them in the looked them in the eye. He did not back down. How do you many people know that when you got if you ever felt that way when you got the Holy Ghost, you got the spirit by you by your side, 
There's no need to back down from anybody or anything. The truth will ride with you. The truth will ride with you and the Holy Ghost will speak through you. He looked him in the eye and told him, you are not a pro God. You are everything against God. Wow, right there in the thing. Now, now he has some nerve. That's the Holy Ghost speaking. And sometimes we want the Holy Ghost to speak, but the, the Holy, Girl, Holy Ghost speaks and says what it wants. Hallelujah. Not you fixing it. Not you sugarcoating it. None of that, but the Holy Ghost comes through. Now, the problem comes, Minister Angie, is when you try to fix it and try to um, not hurt people's feelings even though inside you're torn up. But the Holy Ghost tells you to say this and it tells you to impart this on them. It's for their deliverance and yours. You have to do what the Spirit tells you to do. It didn't tell you to sugarcoat it. It didn't tell you to come back next week and tell them. It didn't tell you to call them on the phone. It says, give it to them right now. Look them in the eye and say, well, read that one more time. You are a child of the devil. Yeah. You're empty of everything that is right. Yeah. You are every because everything that is right. If you don't if you don't talk to the enemy in your camp, the enemy's gonna stay in your camp. If you don't confront it spiritually now with the Holy Ghost, huh? Then it's gonna stay lingering because it feels it has control over you. You are the one that's uneasy. You are the one that's uh going through all this uh uh, uh, treachery, trickery, all of this. You are the one because you haven't addressed it. But God sent these two specifically, specifically set apart, specifically to handle this for uh, the council. Go ahead. And then what happened? Go ahead. I love this. Immediately, mist and dark, mist and darkness came over him, and he groped about seeking someone to lead him by hand, by the hand. When the proconsul saw what happened, he believed for he believed, for he was amazed at the teaching about the Lord. Yeah. So the proof was in the point. He said, Okay, this is what's really going on. He said, This is what they really this is what he really looks like. And I'm gonna tell you because it's not right for you. The proconsul sent for the two men of God, got there, got the truth, but the counsel that he had already didn't want him to know the truth. He did not. But the Holy Ghost rose up in Paul and spoke and told him everything he needed to know about this man or the sorcerer, everything that he was against God. You need to read those things that are not like him in your uh, surrounding. If you allow it to linger, then that's on you. And God tells you, I need you to confront them. Or I need you to send for two that are going to confront them and say what I need you to say. So you have to be obedient to the master. You have to be obedient to the Holy Ghost. Allow it to come and flow through you. And then that way you live. It's your obedience that you're trying to do for the master, not somebody else. It's for you. Stand up in the Lord. You say you love him. Stand up. This is everybody. Stand up in the Lord. Stand up strong. Stand up strong. So you see things that are not right. You see things that are, are, are controversy to the word, contrary to the word, contrary to the master, not in good conscience. Then you, it's up to you, man, woman of God, to allow the Holy Ghost to speak through you, to tell it exactly what it is and let it leave your presence. If you don't expose it, then it will continue to do what it needs to do and stay in your in your uh in your field, in your arena. Now you got problems because every time you turn around, you know the truth. You know if you're spiritual and your eyes are open, if you're set apart, the Lord's going to show you what you need and give you the strength to battle that. That's what that's not supposed to be in your surroundings. Not just for you, but everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. <coughs> My prayer, this is for me, is that I'm always, as my son will say, on your guard. What, what chapter is it? What's First it? Corinthians. First Corinthians, 13. what? 16, 13. 16, 13, it says what? Be on your guard. Be on your guard. What does that mean? Be in the spirit. 
be in the spirit. So then I see that somebody's being troubled. Somebody's not being um, uh, healthy spiritually. Somebody's going through trouble. Somebody may be being abused. Somebody may be kidnapped, haven't told anybody. Somebody may be uh, 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 down and out, getting ready to commit suicide. But if I'm not on my guard, then I will overlook it. I will not see it. Because I'm telling you, as we looked in this, as we read a few minutes ago, the sorcerer, it does have power, but it doesn't have authority. <coughs> so, they can cover it. They can mask it. Uh, <clears throat> they can mask it pretending to be a prophet, pretending to be a preacher, but not really being a preacher and not really being a prophet. They can do some things. Uh, the uh, the enjoyment is only for a minute, for, for a while, but the truth will come out at the end. And sometimes God sends who he knows is going to stand up and tell the truth and rid that that doesn't belong in your surroundings. Thank God for the counsel who, who was a believer after this, after he saw that, that God uh, sends his two anointed along with John, which is love. This came out of love. It didn't come out of hate. That's why he put John in the scripture in this period. So you'll know that this wasn't out of anger. This was out of love. Now you go back and read this for yourself. So you can say, I love you, but the truth of the matter is, I cannot allow this to linger on in my classroom. I cannot allow, not allow this to linger on in my house. I cannot allow this to linger on in my relationships. I cannot allow this to linger on in my, in my uh, school, in my kids' school, in my uh, class. Wherever I am, God is. So what, am I afraid? No. Am I scared? No. Be on your guard. Lord, help me. This is me. Help me be on my guard so I won't miss anybody that's under stress. So I won't miss those that are hiding, that are cloaked, that are cloaked with the Bible, cloaked with a, a, a robe, or cloaked with something that looks like it may be God, but it may not be. It's the sorcerer. It is that wants to hold on, that wants to keep the ear, that wants to keep you confused, wants to keep you off balance. That's why, uh, right, we have to expose it. You do. If you are, let's get really real here. If you expose somebody who's um, tearing up the family, tearing up the cloak, the, the team, tearing up the organization, if you don't expose them, they will continue to do what they do. They will. They're not going to stop until they're exposed with love, John, and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost, you pray. That's how the scripture started out. Pray and fasting. Okay? Pray and fasting. Don't get so full. This is the mastering part. Don't get so full that you're, that you're uh, confused about what you're supposed to do. Oh, this is a great plate of food. Oh, uh, have all the drinks you want. Now you're getting confused. You're getting baited by all the good stuff, the material things. But if you're fasting, <coughs> you know that I don't need that right now. No, because I got to work for the Lord. Uh, I can push that back. I can do that. Good morning, uh, Minister C. Fist. Blessed God keep you. I can, I can push that back. Well, here's the best drinks we got. No, I don't need this. I'm on a mission for the master. I want him to talk to me. Praying for you as well. I'm on, uh, I'm, on a miss, I'm on a mission for the master so I can master the drinking, the, uh, the loving, all of that. I can do all of that because I'm on a mission for the master. And then once I'm through, all is well. You don't know a feeling. Uh, you haven't felt a high. You haven't been up to the mountaintop. You haven't been up to the, what's that room on high? Until you've done what the Lord asked you to do. And then successful at it. Of course, you're going to be successful at it. But obeying God, there's no, there's no reward better than that feeling that you've done something for the master and you're one with the master. I am that I am. I am one with him. <coughs> <coughs> so my prayer for you, wherever you are in the world, 
God has set you apart. You may have heard that before. You may have heard that, or maybe your children have been set apart. You better coddle them. You better take care of them. You better, uh, 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 you better anoint them. You better uh, keep them covered because they've been set apart. There's a work. There's a work for them to do. And somebody may have done that to you while you were a child. Okay, you're set aside, baby. No, you can't do that. You don't even look good in that. You don't even look good at the at the bar. You can't go to the club. You'll stand out of like a sore thumb. No, it's not for you. That's not for you. You've been set apart. It's not a bad thing. And you got to get your kids. You got to get your kids with this. And that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Matter of fact, it's it's, it's, it's the opposite. It's a fantastic thing because you're working for the master. He has a plan for you. And when it, when you, when you, uh, relax and say, okay, I'm going to do what the master tells me to do. There's no rebellion in it. I'm going to do it. Then you'll find out that yours has arrived, your purpose, your mission. And then God just keeps on blessing you. As my son said, be on your guard. That means that always, be ready to help somebody. Always look to say, how can I help this? How can I help them be better? I don't care if you're coaching. I don't care if you're teaching. I don't care if you're going in the bank. I don't care if you're at the, in the line at, at the dollar store. I don't care where you are. If you encourage somebody, all right, that may save their life for that day. It may change them because you don't know how close the person is to the edge. You just don't know. But you're being on guard spiritually will bring them out, will save them. Mm. And it's not a, about uh, uh, going into a whole lot of detail. Just, hey, God bless you on today. What you're worried about is not that serious. God can deliver you from it. When you start talking like that, just complete a three-day fast in Jesus' name. Yeah, see, I know you feel great. A three day fast is good for you. It feels you feel great, and you can do great things. And your brain just opens up to ideas and things like, "Oh God, I never thought about that." Oh God, this is really good. This is I'm I'm not blocked. Amen. Yeah, I'm not blocked. Thank you. Something I was worried about. I was working on. If something that you feel like you got right is block, Aisha, then you need to go on a fast. Maybe right is block. Go on a fast. Go on a fast. And see what comes in your brain. And how God just says, wow, I've been trying to get through to you. But because it's been blocked by material things, I can't get to where I need to go. All right. So don't worry about anything in the world. Just obey God when he tells you to go, go. If you've been set aside, if you're alive today, hearing this video, hearing me right now, then you've been set aside for your purpose, for God's mission. For something he has for you to do. All right. And to stop going through all these aches and pains. Heal, heal here and then go back. Heal once and then go back. No, no, no. Do what the master tells you to do. There's a reason why you still go through uh, things that are not quite right. The body's adjusting. It's not the body. It's your mind and your willingness to take the pain. A, uh, I think last week we talked about it. You got to bear a cross. You do. If Jesus bore a cross, who makes you think you're not going to be able to, uh, you're not going to, uh, you're going to skip that part. You're not going to bear the cross. You're just going to go right to uh, heaven. You're going to do all right. You ain't bearing no cross. You are going to bear a cross if you want to be delivered, if you want to get to heaven, if you want to be on God's side, you're going to have a cross to bear. It's not going to kill you. No, no, no. Uh-uh. It's going to deliver you. It's not going to kill you. It's going to deliver you. You have to know what it takes. And Well, you're not going to be broken. You're not going to be broken because these people, like the sorcerer, says, oh, no, you're not coming in here and telling the truth. Uh-uh. You're going to get scared. You're going to get taken. You're going to get drunk. You're going to get high. You're going to get full and fall asleep. You're going to do all those things. You're going to get tricked by the uh, the woman or the man. All those things are going to come in your life and trick you so to keep you from doing what God wants you to do. But I'm saying to you, shed all of that fast, mother negativity, 
trust God that he's on your side. He's going to deliver you. And then you're going to do what the Lord tells you to do. And you, not only will you be blessed, but your children be blessed and your children's children will be blessed as well. God bless and God keep you on today. Thank you, Yuri, for reading for me on today. Appreciate you. Love you. Many success for you. God bless those people in Kankakee. Keep working us. Uh, Brother Cephas, God bless your entire family. Mr. Angie, all of those. Blessing God, keep and strengthen you. Is my prayer. I'm glad you came on. Uh, don't give up on God. Is my prayer. Mr. Chapman, what did I say? Uh, fast and pray. Yeah, receive the Holy Ghost. And above all, do what God has for you to do. Every fourth Saturday, 257 West 48th Place in Chicago. Uh, we're live. We're, we're live. We're praying. We're, we're uh, touching and agreeing. Uh, we're prophesying. We're doing all those things that make you success to do whatever it is to get you back on your road. And we, we're happy to be around people uh, who need help and to help those who need help. We are. That's our mission. That's what we do. And in person. 257 West 48th Place in Chicago every fourth Saturday, 7 p.m. You are my guest. You are invited. There are no surprises for us because the Lord is good. He's good all the time. So, boy, if I had another uh, half hour, I'd talk about being on your guard. Being on your guard. Being ready to help those that need help. And don't say, well, I get them next time because it may not be. Uh, next time. You got to get them right then. So Lord, help me be on my guard. Help me be spiritually ready to tackle whatever it is that you put me into. All right. Because if, if, if the Lord tells you to go, then that's what you need to, that's where you need to be. And I'm so glad, Deanna, I'm glad you come in this way for if whatever reason you're coming up here. May you be strengthened. May you touch somebody. May you change somebody's heart on today. May you change somebody's heart on today. All right. And this weekend, maybe it be a life-changing event and you help somebody. If, if it's one person, it's worth it. It is. It's worth it because you never know what the other person will do. But God has uh, healed you. He has, he has lifted you up. He has extended your territory. He has trimmed you down. He has done all those things to get you ready for such a time as this. God bless and God keep each and every one of you. Thank you so much uh, uh, for joining me on today. And uh, thank you for your support. Thank you to all those who have supported us uh, as well. So God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. And I'll see you next time.